Hello, this is Vince with Article Marketing Robot. In this video, I'm going to go over a quick getting started demonstration. So, going from when you first start the software to having your first submitted article. That is the goal of this video. Hopefully, it doesn't go too long. So, when you first start the software, you will see this new sites list has been posted message. Um, if you choose to download it, it will download the sites. Um, if you choose not to, you can do it in uh, some other fashion. So I'm going to actually click no because I'll show you the other ways that you can do this. Down in the uh, select directories tab, we have a bunch of little functions down here. To download any site lists, just click the down arrow. These are publicly hosted site lists that I'll be posting from time to time. And as you can see, there's some numbers cruising across the bottom. Um, sometimes you'll see failed coming through. If you get failed messages, chances are either the site list or the sites already exist in your site list, or you don't have the spe uh, specified platform uh, associated with your unlock code. So for most users, they have article directory platforms, but they haven't upgraded to Web 2.0 and Wiki platforms. So you would need to upgrade to those platforms in order to be able to see the rest of the site types. Okay, so um, I just wanted to give you do another example here. If you wanted to get rid of some sites, just highlight as many as you want. You can control click or shift click. And then uh, over here, you got the minus button. And if you click that, you'll get a message down here. Sites removed, refresh your site list. Here's the refresh button. Click it and you'll see that those sites are now gone. So I'm just going to re-download those sites. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. No more new site lists. Well, that's because we've already downloaded the publicly available site lists. But if you wanted to re-download them, you would go File, Redownload Site List. Um, you want to delete previously recorded history? In this case, yes. So here we go. So as you can see, we've added, re-added the five sites that we previously removed. removed. already so that's done okay so now that we have our sites we're going to want to create an author account in order to do that you need an email address um, I typically re recommend using some sort of uh, hosted email address uh, like uh, cPanel or HostGator or any, any hosting that really provides a cPanel account I got users that use GoDaddy and GoDaddy has a tendency to give people a lot of issues. For example, if their email filters detect too many incoming emails, um, which is normally what happens when you do a mass registration to a bunch of sites, all those emails will, be, will trigger their spam filter and those emails will disappear. And then there will be nothing to confirm. So it, it's just a big problem. If, if you can, I highly recommend a hosted uh, HostGator account. And if that's not good enough, or if you can't get that, go for a Gmail account. So I'm just going to log into my cPanel. Right, so you can see I'm in my cPanel. Um, in this section we have, this is pretty familiar for most people, but a lot of people may have never seen this before. Over here we have something called email accounts. Click that, and that will be bring you to this screen where you can create an email account on one of your domains. So I'm going to just give my email address a name of I don't know uh, demo October 3 2012 and my password so yeah just give it an email that you can remember give it a password you can remember click create account so the account was created and that's all you have to do to create an email account on a cPanel hosting plan. So now over in your author account tab, you have this email box. You put the exact same email that you created into this email box. Hopefully I get it right. Okay, and this, this password field is not the password you use to create your email. This is the password that you use to sign up to all the directories. Now keep in mind, some directories are going to email you back passwords, and Article Marketing Robot will log in 
during the confirmation progress uh, process and extract those passwords and store them into the database. Uh, typical password, what do you call it? Um, format, typical password format should be one capital letter at least, uh, a bunch of lowercase letters and a number. Uh, a lot of sites require that kind of password, so capital P password one is, is, is kind of the typical thing that you should use. Now, if you feel like you can fill out all your author information, if it, uh, you know, if, if you want, or most people like me are lazy, and instead you can just hit the pre-pop button. Uh, I'm going to say no to appending user uh, numbers to the field. And then what happens is it creates a complete profile for you. So the only thing you have to really put in is your email, password, and enter your website. Oh my goodness. And then your About Me. The About Me box can have HTML in it, but a lot of sites will also decline you if you have HTML in your About Me box. So. Um, I recommend that you don't put HTML in it. Okay, so now that we filled out this part of the uh, author account, come over to step 1B. And as I mentioned before, I used a cPanel account. So I'm going to select cPanel non-secure because that's how my hosting package works. Now you got to keep in mind that the defaults or the de detection that Article Marketing Robot will use is for typical hosting accounts. Some hosting accounts, even cPanel ones, even different HostGator accounts, require you to use either secure or they change the account name to have, it's, you see there's a plus sign here, sometimes it'll require an at symbol. So this is very important to remember. If you get, if you get a fail uh, on your pop test, you will might have to contact your hosting support to find out what your pop details should be. Uh, POP stands for Post Office Protocol. It allows software like uh, Article Marketing Robot or Outlook Express or any other mail pro program to download emails from your webmail server. Also, another tip, do not associate any other softwares with this email account. I've had users download, or sorry, associate like Microsoft Outlook with their email account and it downloads all the emails and deletes them from the server leaving nothing for Article Marketing Robot to confirm. So keep that in mind when you create your email. So I'm going to enter the password that I used uh, w when I created the email account. Uh, highly secure ABC1234 and test. So it, it succeeded. Once all is said and done, click the Save button. And that will be your author account. Okay. Now a few other things you can do, you can you can create your article now or you can come back to it later. Um, it's it's This is explained in another video and for me I, I have an article builder account so I'm just going to be lazy about it and create a quick article using article builder and that way I don't have to do any hard work. So I just gotta. I'm gonna blast through this stuff. I'll uh, I'll go into detail in another video about how this stuff works. Now this is probably the world's worst resource box. That's just a link. I don't recommend doing it this way. But this is also just for demo purposes. Okay, so the article is created very simple, very quickly. I actually have a video on how to use Article Builder uh, as well. It's in; the, it'll be in the video section of the main of. Uh, well, you can access it here. Help videos. Okay, so anyways, moving forward. Select three, uh, step three, select directories. So we have all these sites, they're in red. We need to sign up to them. Very simple to do. Select all and then click sign up. Now I've got, a, I've had e people email me. I don't know why they do it this way. They select all the sites and then they click submit. They, I don't know, it's, 
it defies logic. But I guess that's just the way it is for some people. But the reality is the process is select all, sign up, and let that happen. So you'll see that there's a lot of stuff going on here. It's signing up, successes and fails. You know, it's typical. You're not going to get 100% success rate no matter how hard you try especially with uh, so many different options out there for article marketing. Everybody's submitting to the same same type of sites, which is why I've increased the amount of platforms that are available in the software. But this site list is current as of October 3rd. So the success rates in this video may not be the same as when you're watching this video six months from now. A couple other things you may want to configure before doing a sign up is in your tools options menu you have something called capture cracking. Oops. There it is. And I recommend Death by Capture because it's the cheapest, but if you can get Capture Sniper because that'll crack a lot of captures for you. It's uh, 77 bucks through the Capture Sniper Sniper link. Uh, which is right here, but if uh, if you plan on doing a lot of article submitting, then you will definitely want to have something that cracks the captures without costing you money in a uh, death by capture account. But anyways, these guys are the cheapest solution. Then then there's decapture, but they always seem to change their URL, so I don't really trust them anymore. Anyways, click OK and get out of that and I'll just come back when this process is done. Okay, so it's done. You can see we have uh, 1298 successes and 274 fails, which isn't bad. Next step, we have to go through the confirmation process. So that's as easy as clicking the confirm button and now Article Marketing Robot is going to download emails from the webmail server so that's another process that I'm just going to put on pause and come back when it's complete. Okay, email confirmation is complete. So I am going to refresh the site list. So in the end, we have 1,346 OKs. Now it's time to submit an article. So I'm just going to filter out the emails and the nuns, refresh the site list, 1,346 show up. Select all again and submit. Now you can either schedule out your articles and drip feed them. Um, it's pretty straightforward. This is really self explanatory, really. You can submit 20 articles every 24 hours and start to submit now or however many days from now. All these are tweakable, but I'm just going to submit all submit to all selected sites now. Click OK. I'm going to go through excuse me, the uh, pi compiling process. There we go. Submitting to sites. So this process, process will take another five or ten minutes. Let's see if we can get a live link out of that. As you can see, these uh, articles retrieve their live links in real times. Um, not for all sites, some still need to go through uh, an approval process, but some whatever sites that are instant approval will show the live link, which is nice to have. So anyways, I'm just going to kind of let that go. I'm going to pause the video and come back again. Just uh, kind of going through the submit process here. It's almost done anyways. But uh, you can see that we've got 1124 submitted and just a crap load of live links. Like here's a media wiki live link. And, um, what else? Some of those other sites. Uh, J cow sites, 
ELGG. So these are all instant approval sites. TikiWiki. Clicked it twice there. That one didn't show up. More media wiki. Lots of media wiki sites. <clears throat> and of course the traditional WordPress and all the rest. So that is submitting an article. Um, looks like the process is complete. We've got 12, 10 submitted. And we have a lot of the live links here uh, to prove it. So now another thing that you can do to help get these indexed is uh, highlight as many live links as you want and click this P button and send that to the pinger. And over here you can just refresh and there you go. You'll see, you'll see the article uh, URL and the article title. So that's going to send that out uh, to the pinger, to the ping server, one every five seconds. Here we have our ping servers list. This usually is blank, but if you need the list, you can just uh, click this link here and it'll let you get a ping servers list. So that is signing up, confirming, and submitting your very first article. I know I am a very boring commentator, uh, but we got through it pretty good. And I'm going to conclude the video with that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.